people. Uh, really, really proud of, of the effort. I thought uh, you can tell a lot. We say often um, a lot of the preparation, a lot of preparedness to play, you can tell on uh, special teams and on faceoffs. And I thought right from, I felt right from the start of the game, we were good on faceoffs in the first. Uh, we were good at the power play. I think we ended up two for four, two for three, something like that in the power play. Uh, 100% the penalty kill. So those areas were good. Our energy was good. Uh, we've been getting great spark out of out of a lot of guys. And uh, you know we played with the lines a little bit uh, this week to try to complement some guys a bit. Um, tonight we were able to get some players some critical ice time minutes and and get a look at them with some other guys. Um, you know to just to for developmental purposes going forward. So. Um, happy with certainly with the effort that's where it starts and then I thought our execution was good. How important is it to come out and have the first period you had tonight to not only sort of wash away the, the Mankato weekend but also to get back to playing your hockey at home? Um, well it beats the alternative. You know, you, these guys are going to be really good. Uh, Rico's, Rico's as good a coach as there is in college hockey. You know they, they, they get named a program late um, you know, it's not like they had a whole year to go out and recruit and develop. They're, they're limited in scholarships right now for whatever reason. Um, so the, this team will be, you know, this team will be really good. Uh, you can see their work ethic. They never quit till the end of the game. Uh, they played right till the last wh whistle. Their goaltending played hard. Their, everybody played hard. So, um, you know, they, they w w going into the game, that was my emphasis to the team: is that th they will be a reflection of their of their coaches, and they were. They played hard. They protected hard in front of the net. Um, you know, we we I thought we moved the puck quickly. I thought we had played with a lot of energy in our legs. I thought we, you know, at least matched their work ethic, and and that was, you know, anything can happen if that didn't occur. And I thought we at least matched their work ethic. So again. Extremely pleased with how the guys showed up. We have one more, one more to get through, before, and then the guys, uh, you know, after that can get a, a well-deserved rest. Everybody can staff and everybody for a few days, uh, but extremely proud and happy of the way the guys played. Um, this is one of the first opportunities I think this season that you dressed an extra forward instead of a defenseman. Mm -hmm. Was that for just like as you said, um, evaluating players on the forward core, or um, we we want to. We want, and that's very observant. Good job. We want to, we want to dress who we feel are our players that deserve most to play, are the best players that we can practice. And we felt that it was hard to make a decision up with some forwards, and it ended up working out because we got dinged up a little bit. Uh, I know that uh, St. Thomas got dinged up a little bit as well, and um, and we still had our depth at the forwards to keep our bodies going and not burn guys out and keep a rotation going. So. I think we we're pretty fortunate that it worked out the way it did, and that uh, you know we were we were able to um, keep our forward lines intact by playing the extra forward. We just want to play our best guys, the who we feel is our best guys during that week of practice. We've been talking the last couple of weeks a little bit about Misiak and the effort he puts in every practice, every game for you. How nice was it to see him get rewarded tonight with a couple of goals and you know really kind of have a breakthrough night? I enjoy every minute I'm with him. He prepares well. Um, you know, you see every young every young man that goes out, or young boy that goes on the ice as our as our guest hockey player, including including our, our phenomenal uh, young player Clark tonight um, was uh, Clark Larson. We, his favorite player is Justin Misiak, and there's a reason for that because you know, and he's and he's like that with me. You know, I, I love him like a son, and uh, I enjoy every opportunity I get to watch him play. Uh, I, I, it, it is a thrill for me with a lot of our guys, but Justin, guys follow him. You know, they follow his example, and, and that's a that's a great type of leader, and they follow his example. Um, after putting up the crooked number on the board, was there any plan to sub in a goalie to give them some reps, or was it just Pietala all day for today? Um, there was a thought. I thought I thought about it. Um, I thought about it. I didn't do it, but I thought about it. Okay. Uh, so. Will we see a Mark St. Clair maybe since he's back on the roster? He's, he's had one week of practice. We'll, we'll, you know, I, I'm not sure what we'll do. We're, Blake will start tomorrow. I mean, these are critical. We, we, I don't know how the uh, Ferris Bowling Green game ended up, but we may have picked up some help there. Um, 
Mankato helped us inch a little bit closer with Bemidji, is my understanding. It was like four nothing less. Mm -hmm. I heard, and then uh, I believe Lake State did a really good, had a really good effort against Northern. So I don't know if those are finals, so I don't want to jump the gun. But as of right now, um, you know, everybody, everything fell into place a little bit for us. And again, there's no easy nights in this league. There's no easy nights. Everybody, uh, and, and again, like I said, um, it won't be long. They have a great, they're building a new arena in St. Thomas. They have a great coach. They have a great city to recruit to. In, in in a in a big state for hockey development, so you know it, it'll it, it's we're going to be on the other side of this. Michigan Tuck will be on the other side of this soon enough, so we'll, we'll enjoy this one. Uh, your power play tonight, you had some really good puck movement that led to both goals. Uh, talk about getting those couple passes around the outside and then having Arvid move that puck into the middle to make a play. Yeah, <coughs> excuse me, sir. Arvid made a couple of, of, of really good plays for us and. I thought the guys drew some coverage that uh, that allowed that to occur. So um, they'll make adjustments tomorrow. We'll, we'll anticipate some adjustments and move from there. But tonight, the guys made the plays they had to they had to make. We uh, on on the one on the second one, um, Bots got a little banged up there behind the net. So for for just a brief part of that, we put out Tommy and and Tommy made the play. I made the play to him in front of the net. So um, tonight was just fortunate that. Whoever we put on the ice executed pretty well. Uh, speaking about in front of the net, we seem to have a pretty good amount of screening tonight versus previous series in terms of having a guy sitting in front of the goalie. Was that by design or is that just the happenstance for tonight? Well, we always try to. I don't know if there was any more or any less, but we always try to. Um, you're going to have more of that stationary presence when you control a little bit more offensive zone play because you have time to get there and it's not a constant chase. So um, maybe that, that probably worked out that way, and that's probably why you saw it the way you did tonight. I thought they did a good job blocking shots, especially early first two periods. Uh, and I don't think we got a whole lot through in the third, so I thought they did an excellent job blocking shots on us. So um, there was one too many guys in front of them at, their, <laughs> at times. How do you carry the momentum now into tomorrow? It's, it's in the locker room. It's the leadership, and they did a tremendous job by example, by preparation, uh, both vocal and and in uh, you know in their efforts, so that comes within the room. We can prepare the guys and 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 try to say the focus, but the voice, I you know, I firmly believe that the meeting after the meeting, whatever's said in there right now, is what's most important. When when the meeting after the meeting that I'm at, the message that gets sent is the most important message. So, and I, I have complete confidence in our leaders that they're that they're sending the right message because they have for four years for us. Final question, should we expect any lineup changes for tomorrow? Maybe. Okay. Maybe we'll look 